doon sa katawan ni Annalis Michelle, gusto na nilang umalis. Pero ayaw pa rin ng Diyos na paalisin sila doon. Why? Kasi may reason at may purpose to. At interestingly... Alam nyo, sobrang nagulat ako dito sa nalaman ko na sinabi sa akin ng isang kilalang exorcist priest sa Amerika at siya din yung host ng popular podcast ng The Exorcist Files na si Father Carlos Martins. Okay, si Father Carlos Mar- Martins ay isang uh, renowned exorcist priest for more than 20 years of experience sa uh, uh, deliverance ministry. Meron din siyang ministry about the sacred relic called the treasure of the church. Recently, si Father Carlos Martins ay na-involved sa mga uh, interview. Uh, kung alam nyo, syempre, alam nyo, alam nyo yung The Pope's Exorcist. Sinabi niya yung na itong The Pope's Exorcist daw ay hindi to talaga based on the life of Father Gabriel Armort. So, ang movie na to ay fabricated. Ang daming mga nireveal sa atin ni Father Carlos Martins at talagang blessing siya sa Catholic Church. At I'm so blessed kasi nakilala ko siya dahil kay Brother Gabriel Castillo na you know this guy, very popular uh, sa kanyang YouTube channel, di ba? The Gabby After Hours. So siya yung nagpakilala sa akin kay Father Carlos Martins. At dahil doon ay nagkaroon tayo ng conversation at uh, interview with Father Carlos Martins uh, dalawang beses na. At yung naging recent interview ko sa kanya, kung hindi nyo pa to napanood, ay meron siyang nabanggit doon about Annalise Michelle. Okay? Kung hindi nyo po kilala si Annalise Michelle, ito yung The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Okay? Alam natin to, the be- very popular tong naging movie na to. Pero ito ay hango sa buhay ni Annalise Michelle. Okay? Na isang victim ng possession, demonic possession. Alam nyo ba, very interesting ang sinabi sa akin dito ni Father Carlos Martin about Annalise Michelle. Kasi nga, alam naman natin na si Annalise Michelle ay isang very devout Catholic. She live a pious life. Pero bakit ganun? Diba? Tiyatang niya ako, Adrian, bakit namuhay naman pala siya ng maayos na buhay, uh, devout Catholic, pero bakit sinanibang pa rin siya ng demonyo. Ang case ni Annalise Michelle ay very unique dahil siya ay tiyatawag na victim soul. Pag sinabing victim soul ay inalaw to ni Lord for a reason, for a purpose. At etong naging experience niya na to, etong naging suffering niya through a demonic possession, ito ay willingly in-embrace to ni Annalise Michelle para i-offer niya for a certain intention. Magiging redemptive suffering yun eh. Tinatawag na salvific suffering. Kaya nga pag tayo ay nakaka-experience ng mga problem, challenges sa buhay, minsan inaalo to ni Lord para i-offer mo to for the conversion of, of sinners for the reparation of your sins and sins of the whole world and for the souls in purgatory. Very specific for the intention, di ba? Kung meron kang gustong taong i- gusto mong i-offer yung suffering mo para sa kanya, para, dingi, para dinggin ni Lord ang kanyang uh, prayers, ito yung offer mo yung suffering mo for a certain intention. Nung panahon na yon, itong si Annalise Michelle ay talaga in-embrace niya yon, yung, yung, yung suffering niya na yon. Okay, na even, okay, sabi ni Father Carlos Martin na dun sa naging account, yung naging uh, documentary dito kay Annalise Michelle na sinabi na raw ng mga demonyo, okay, na sumanib sa kanya na ayaw na nila dun sa katawan ni Annalise Michelle, gusto na nilang umalis pero ayaw pa rin ng Diyos na paalisin sila dun Why? Kasi may reason at may purpose to at interestingly, nung after daw ng mamatay ni Annalise Michelle, yung kanyang libingan, kung saan siya nilibing, ay talagang naging site ng mga pilgrim. Pinupuntahan siya ng mga tao at nakikita mo daw that there is a fruits and work of the Holy Spirit on her grave. So, ilig sabihin, si Annalise Michelle ay isang victim soul 
at possible. Imagine ha, a victim ng demonic possession, possible na pwede siyang maging saint someday. Gusto kong i-share sa inyo yung naging topic namin dito ni Father Carlos Martins regarding kay Annalise Michelle at sobra kayong magugulat sa mga i-reveal dito ni Father Carlos Martin. Okay, so panoodin nyo itong mga cafe. One can be possessed and not in a state of mortal sin. Mortal sin can lead to possession. In the state of possession, someone can go to confession and repent of the sin, and yet the demon remains for whatever God's purpose. And such that at the end of, of one's life, the possessed person may still go to heaven. So the fact that someone has a demon does not mean that they're automatically condemned to hell. One only goes to hell if one has mortal sin. So, so those two things are completely disconnected, right? The, the fact that one has demons uh, does not mean that that condemnation is inevitable. Not at all. Mm. So is it like the case of Annalise Michel? You know, um, you could say that. So Annalise Michel's case is, is unique. So th- she was possessed and the uh, you know i've read the, i've read the various interviews of pe- the people mm-hmm. that were involved i've read transcripts of of the case mm-hmm. and i've heard some of the recordings that were produced oh. and most of the exorcism sessions were recorded uh, that is no longer permitted anymore but back in her time it was not forbidden so it was done mm-hmm. the demons would say at least towards the end of the case, in the final year or so, that they no longer wanted to be in her, but they were not permitted to leave. That God was was forcing them to remain behind. Uh, so there was a salvific purpose mm. in the case of her possession, and what she would say about it coincided with that, where... Mm. She was offering up the possession and her suffering that came of it for the salvation of souls. Oh, so she is a victim soul. A victim soul. Yeah. Oh. Now, how she got the possession, mm. uh, what it appears that happened, which none of the movies, I think, have really nailed it, mm. was it appears that there was a curse put on her by... Um, Well, while she was in utero, in her mother's womb, there was a woman who was jealous of her mother and it evidently put a curse on her. So this was talked about in the village, but the demons mentioned it repeatedly, that they had rights based on that curse. So that was the entry point. Nevertheless, God had his own purposes for it. He used it to accomplish his own ends. I see. I think I heard this right, that Annalise Michel is a devout Catholic. Oh yes, very devout. Yes, and in fact, um, you know, she she of course died, and that's very unusual for someone to die during a possession. Mm. Uh, but in fairness, uh, the demons had predicted, and she claimed to also have a revelation from the Lord that she yeah. would be free in July of 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 that year which i believe the year was 1977 so the demons would testify to it and she also received her own revelation which she shared with her family members and friends and sure enough on july the 1st 1977 uh, her she was liberated because she was found dead in the morning in her bed uh, so she had predicted that in july she'd be free and indeed she was because she was now deceased That's really unusual. Is it the case that the demons caused the death? I don't believe it's the case because I've never seen it. I've never heard about it. Mm. Uh, I think that, that God had his own separate purposes for her as a victim soul. And the proof of it is what the Holy Spirit is doing following her death. So her tomb, her grave uh, at the cemetery is a place of pilgrimage. There are busloads of pilgrims that come. Oh. And they pray at her grave. So, so wow. I think that that's already kind of a proof that that the Holy Spirit is 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 p- holding her up as a witness. Is it possible that 
she will be canonized soon as a saint? <laughs> it, it is certainly it is possible. Uh, is there a cause for her beatification yeah. underway? I, I'm not aware. I'm not, I'm not aware of a cause. But in order to begin a cause, what is happening there at her grave must be happening. So in other words, there has to be what the church calls a fama sanctitatis, a reputation of sanctity that is proven by a devotion to the individual after death. And that's certainly happening in her case. Wow. Ayan mga ka so I'm sure na sobra kayo na blessed at na-inspire. Okay, dyan sa mga shinare ni Father Carlos Martin. And make sure mga ka na share po natin to sa ating mga friends and relatives dahil I'm sure sobra sila ma-inspire at mabibless dyan sa mga sinabi dyan ni Father Carlos Martin. Sa mga ka po natin, sa mga viewers po natin na gusto nyo pong isupport itong Uh, ministry natin, itong ginagawa natin na online evangelization. If you want to support me on this mission para patuloy po natin itong magawa, may makikita kayo na join button dito sa aking YouTube channel. So if you want to be part of my supporters group, i-click nyo lang po yung join button sa baba ng video na to. Okay, for more details. Okay, so thank you and God bless. So that's it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope na na-bless at na-inspire ka dito sa aking vlog. Make sure na i-like mo at mag-comment ka sa baba ng video na to at mag-subscribe ka sa aking YouTube channel para lagi kang updated sa mga bagong vlog na gagawin ko. At huwag mo din kakalimutan na i-like ang aking page. So this been Adrian Milag encouraging you to live your life to the fullest. God bless you more abundantly.